แล้วคนไรก็เฮ้ยกายส์ welcome to another ball vlog this one as you saw from the start wasn't really a pleasant experience but here it is let's see what I found hope you enjoyed the video have a good rest of your day and I'll catch you on the next one so I'm at uh, Von Mills first time here in a long time about to go in to the Nike factory store first obviously see uh, see what they have Or maybe not. Nope. So I'm just checking out some other stores. Most of the stores here in this mall are outlets. That Nike line there was at least like an hour and a half wait. Uh, this vlogger here also has nothing. Got this Embiid one colorway, 25% off. The question mid in the black and white. Maybe sometime next week I'll go to another Nike outlet store, but that crazy line there was not worth the wait. Uh, here I'm in the Adidas outlet. They have the Ivy Park Ultra Boost in this neon color. The price is not that good, $195. Plenty of sizes, but they're gonna have to do better than that with their prices to get them sold, I guess. And they have this interesting colorway of the Forum Highs, also plenty of sizes. A little surprised to see that they have the Lego ZX series. Uh, most of the colors are here. There's this the yellow one, and also they have a red colorway as well. They got some uh, Pharrell white Continentals with orange laces. Looks interesting. And then from the clearance section, I found this pair of NMDs in this camel and a little bit of pink color. This was actually my size, 10 and a half. Uh, after all the discounts and all that, it was only going for 45 bucks Canadian. That's when you know the NMD times are over. They had these forum lows priced at $127. Also plenty of sizes. Actually, this time the Adidas Ella store was okay. Usually the selection has been terrible. They also have these Ivy Park night joggers in two different colors. I guess this entire collection is just not selling at all. And this here might be the reason. Um, like, can somebody just tell me what these are? Like, what the heck? Then I went to the Under Armour outlet. If you're looking for a face mask to play sports in, this is definitely the best one on the market, in my opinion. So super durable and also very breathable with the material that they use. Definitely worth the money for your workouts and stuff. And then on their walls, basically just a bunch of workout shoes or training shoes. Found this pair of the Curry 7s in this Warriors home colorway. Looks pretty clean. After the additional 30% off, it's about $70. More Currys found, this time the newest Curry 8 in this, I believe, the snakeskin colorway. Going for also under $100. Usually the Curry 8s don't go on sale for too much for some reason, even though they've been out for quite a long time now. Maybe they will soon. And uh, yeah, I guess I was just wrong. At this Champ store, they had this black and white colorway going for $99. It's a pretty good deal considering the retail price was $190. So many basketball shoes are just on sale now. This PG5 is also already $80. The small does have a small sneaker consignment store, but you already know, we're not here for the resale prices, just here for a little B-roll. Okay, this one I do need though. The Nigel Sylvester Jordan ones. Already an aged, yellowed, or worn down look, although brand new. One day maybe I'll get them in my collection. And of course, I'm not leaving this mall without visiting my favorite store. Other than fishing gears, outdoor supplies and stuff, I can't really think of anything sneaker adjacent, obviously. But, I mean, if you want to grab a bunch of hats and for cheap, you can come here. My point is, I think everybody has a favorite store, whether it's shoes, clothing, gaming, electronics, uh, food, groceries, or snacks. You go in there, the vibe is just different, and you just feel nice after taking a walk inside. If you feel what I mean, you can comment down below what your favorite store is. It can be anything. Anyways, that's a recap for Von Mills today. Didn't get a chance to go into the Nike outlet store. The lineup is way too crazy, and I already know that they're not gonna have too much good things in there. So that's it. Didn't buy any shoes, but I bought two hats.
Now I'm back at the Foot Locker on Young Street. I always gotta check it before I go home. And this time, I actually found the Jordan 1 High Pollen sitting on shelves. Unfortunately, it's only grade school sizes, meaning only for girls, but plenty of sizes for the ladies. And I was actually pretty surprised to see these because the release was quite a few weeks ago. Great leather quality on these guys, by the way. They also had the Pollen 1 mids. Lots of black and yellow seamed sneakers these days. And then also just a bunch of other generic stuff. The women's section had the newly released Jordan 14 red lipstick. The color combination actually looks nice in hand with the black base and red tongue works well on a pair of 14s. I probably would have copped them if it was a men's release. Men's basketball section, the LeBron 8 Hardwood Classic, or I like to call these a newer Knicks colorway, is actually on sale for 25% off. Still a pass for me though. Speaking of going on sale, the Adidas Dawn Issue 3, only a month after release, is now going for 100 bucks. I told you, probably gonna go for cheaper as well. Another new release that I saw in store at Champs is the Jordan 11 Low in this bread colorway. It's cool that they retro these, but I really don't feel anything about this colorway. I mean, you're probably gonna see them in stores a lot going forward in the next months or so. So I guess this trip is different in that, look what I got. B Chevron, thank you for your service. Oh man, a hundred dollar ticket. It's the first time getting it in like a few years. I literally just parked at the side of the street. Didn't even see that sign because there's par cars parked right behind me. Those parking guys, I mean, like you're working one of the dirtiest jobs in the world, man. Like, I wonder if they get happiness from like giving out tickets like that. They probably do. Holy shit. <laughs> 